Let's take a quick look at how SpaceClim can be used to prepare models for analysis in the world of aerospace. SpaceClim is a quick tool that allows you to make 3D and edit models as fast as you can think. Quickly create surfaces and pull them up into a solid. You can easily edit any wall you want simply by directly selecting on the model, even creating precise ruler dimensions. If you need to add anything else to a model, it's as simple as sketching wherever you'd like. We could pull this up to make a pin or down to make a hole. Even edit edges by adding rounds or chamfers of any size you'd like. SpaceClaim has always been used to make fast changes to models. Now we've seen how we can also add benefit to the aerospace world. If you need to copy an edge, simply drag it. There's no features that are added to the tree. We create and edit models merely by selecting on them. We use pull and move to make these changes. Pull creates geometry, while move translates and rotates it on screen, even allowing us to make quick copies, dragging a hole to one location or another. And selecting on multiple faces to edit them at the same time is as simple as clicking them as well. The last tool we'll use is our fill tool. Fill helps us get rid of geometry on a model by removing it. Doesn't matter what order they were added, you can always take off and remove things from a model. But now that we've looked at the basics, let's take this block and turn it into a fuselage. To help us, we can import geometry from tons of different systems, STEP, IGES, Parasolid, and also images. Today we'll be making this here on. So we have our 3D image pic or picture, but I'm going to bring in a drawing. Here we can put this on any face we like in the model, and we'll use this to create our conceptual model for analysis. We have the image, but we need to make a 3D model so we could run a flow analysis around it. By resizing the image to our solid, we can use the details on that image to finish making the solid. We can use our pull tool and move tool that we saw in 3D in this convenient 2D cross-section dragging on faces and edges and snapping them in the model. We can even sketch to edit this 3D solid and use these curves to cut away parts of the solid, further shaping the image to what we need it to be. After sketching one profile, we'll need to make the other one. And remember the move tool we used earlier? We can use that to move our image and even make copies of it, taking the profile from the left and now using the profile from the bottom. Moving, reorienting, and positioning your model is simple as well. Drag components, drop them around, and we'll even use our a familiar mirror function so we only have to modify and create half of our design. Many people use images to sketch on to help create their model. Instead of having to take the time to add all these price dimen precise dimensions, we can use these images to snap anywhere we need to be. Now that we've done everything we needed to take from our images, let's finish this model off. We saw how we could sketch in 2D, but we can also use this to cut away surfaces, cutting away the back and front. Now that we have half our fuselage made, let's mirror over to create the second half. And look how fast changes are made in space claim. We can add full rounds or simply round any of the edges as we saw previously by selecting the edge to change and changing it. But considering this is a fuselage, we may need to further edit this round. We can edit the round as a whole or simply edit edges of it to create a variable radius, radius round. This will help the airflow pass over it. And if we need to do further changes, we could also scale our fuselage, making it larger, wider, or narrower, simply by scaling in a single direction versus in all three directions at the same time. 
So without having to add a lot of detail to the model, we can go through several iterations this way. But now that we have the fuselage made, let's try to reuse some older geometry in this assembly. And we can import the geometry of a wing. Here we can see that it's come in as several different surfaces from IGES. That can sometimes happen when bringing in geometry from IGES or STEP. And we'll have to use our repair tools to deal with this. We can stitch different areas together, giving us only three surfaces, but we may have to adjust the tolerance. Even customizing the tolerance and making these changes are easy because everything you need is displayed for that tool. Missing faces, with one click, they're adjusted and fixed. But sometimes you may have a lot of small faces you need to get rid of so you can run an analysis. So here, we can merge them all together into a single face. Automatically goes from 8 to 10 faces to just a single one. That allows us to create a nice clean mesh for our model. But just like before, we need to create a second wing on the other side. Making any adjustments is as easy as moving our solids to a new position before taking the wing on the right side and mirroring it over to the left. And we can even create the round in between them by merging them together and pulling our edge. We automatically let you modify faces and edges by selecting on the geometry. Changes are made before you can even think to make them. And the last thing we'll do is import a tail section. We've seen I just import. We can also import from the major CAD systems like ProE, SolidWorks, and CATIA. Here we see this tail system imported from CATIA, and we can edit any of the components that come in, the pylon or the tail. Here we can make changes to it simply by selecting on it. We don't need to know how it was originally created inside the CAD system. Simply select on the faces and make a change. By angling that in, we can see how that's going to affect our analysis. And again, to bring that to the other side of the model, a few mirrors will take care of it. Now that we have our design finished, let's create the data we'll need to run the analysis and we'll create an air enclosure around it. We have several options to choose from. We can make it a box, a cylinder, or a sphere. Even choosing the amount of cushion we'd like. And again, with a single click, we've created the geometry need to run our analysis. And if we zoom in, we can see the different faces that are made inside of our spherical cushion. And here we can see the comparison between the original image and the model we created. That's just how fast you can make quick conceptual models in SpaceClaim.